what is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video so before we get into today's video if you could take a second to subscribe and join my discord down in the description i really appreciate it so back in 2018 december yeah i made this video that i was talking about how to get you know um develop apps without getting these develop stuff um the developer mode thing without getting these up i forgot what i'm even saying, I'm even saying but i did this video back then and a lot of you had questions a lot of questions bro it doesn't even work why are you talking about the apk is white all these you know these stuff came up and i was like okay bro that means my solution for the part two and part one didn't work for other people so i need to literally you know inform people on what's happening so back then i'm not gonna lie that was that was kind of clickbait because I knew it wouldn't work, but it would work for some people that already have development mode. So basically, that video I did back, back then was a video that would definitely tell you that you can get development mode. But it would work if you have already have development mode on your Chromebook. It won't work if you don't have it, and it's literally impossible, but it's possible. I'm going to explain all what I'm saying in the, my first line. You're asking, what are you talking about? How is it possible and impossible at the same time? How do you say that? So... What I'm going to be talking about is definitely that same topic and I'm going to be telling you guys that you need to get developer mode to get all these stuff. If you don't have developer mode, there is no way you can get all these APKs to work for you. Unless it's an um, it's a Play Store app or you know, yeah. If it's a Play Store app, you'll be able to get it. But if it's not a Play Store app, you can't get, get it from APK Pure, from Aptoid. You can't get all these stuff because some people really want all these other, you know, um, play stores i'll say all these stores to purchase or to download stuff from but they're not being able to so you need to put your chromebook in developer mode else all these stuff it's basically impossible so i'm literally telling you that my video is like clickbait yeah basically you need to get developer mode and here's the thing you like uh okay so how am i even supposed to get developer mode what's developer mode and everything is gonna clear from my chromebook oh uh, you you're literally thinking of all these stuff and i've thought of it also so back in the day i did like you know I kind of formatted my Chromebook like six times or something. I don't know why, because I was trying to, you know, figure out all the possible things I could use a Chromebook that was blocked and a Chromebook that was unblocked for. I just, you know, I just wanted to explore the device a lot. So I was kind of formatting it and, you know, reinstalling stuff. And, you know, when I get a new device, that's basically what I do. I just want to, you know, stress the device out to its maximum potential. Just to know what it can do and what it can't do, the special features and the stuff that it can't do, just to, you know, just to be familiar with my device and stuff. I really do this for a lot of, you know, the devices I have. I do a lot of digging to understand how it's created, what works with it, what doesn't work with it. So basically, for a Chromebook, you need to put it in developer mode before you're able to install an APK. Maybe if an update comes, I'll, tell, I'll come out to tell you guys um, on uh, how to, you know, just to fix all these stuff if an update comes i'm gonna tell you guys don't worry about it at all so basically the step for it is um basically you get a hard drive or a pen drive to pull every single thing you have on the chromebook so that even if you format your chromebook in the process of getting developer mode you do not lose your important information so here's a tricky part you need to listen carefully you're gonna lose some of your information and still have some of your information even after you putting your Chromebook in developer mode. So here's the thing. If you have a Google account, definitely a Chromebook, you need to log in with a Google account, definitely. So if you have this Google account and you have Google Apps, Google Apps are apps that are owned. So you realize that before you install an app, it says you own an app. That's basically most likely or I'll say... Um, uh, more seen in the Microsoft Store, but before you install an app and you have a Google account, um, that just that just means that you own the you own the app. So if you go on any different device and log in into you know your Gmail on that Play Store, you're gonna see all the app store you've downloaded before, all the games that you have on another device or another account, and you're gonna realize that. All these apps from the Play Store are going to stay on your Chromebook. You will reinstall them. Yeah, definitely you have to reinstall them because they're not on the Chromebook. But they're gonna show and you know start installing themselves when you log onto the Chromebook afresh. And this is basically what's gonna happen. But your files, your files, documents, Word documents, and you know all these stuff, they're gonna like they're just gonna clean. They're gonna be wiped away, totally wiped away. So don't even think of it twice, saying that okay. 
um, if my Google Apps is staying, why is it that my files won't stay? Your files will definitely not stay, so it's a hundred percent recommended that you pull these all on a flash drive, on a pen drive, on a hard drive to just be on the safe side for all stuff to you know just move on. And also for Chromebook security, I'll advise you guys to get an admi administrator on your Chromebook. If it's not a school Chromebook, then definitely you should get an administrator on your Chromebook because the thing is that if someone should pick up your Chromebook and if they get the code behind your Chromebook, it's it's really dangerous. It's really dangerous. I'm going to talk about all this in, you know, another video. I've really used, I've stressed out the device to its best potential to just to make sure that um, I'm getting it done or getting all these stuff done. So basically, you cannot get it without, you know, being in developer mode. You can't get APKs or install APKs without being in developer mode. It's that basic. It's facts. You have to understand it like that. Until an update comes in Chrome OS that will come and update you guys that, oh, okay, I found another way to do all these stuff. You will need to put it in developer mode before you're able to change to, you know, manually change to Linux. Change to, I mean, you can go to Linux by going to the Google um, search engine part. That kind of Linux, I've never used that kind of Linux. I always do it, I always do it manually. Why am I talking so fast? I always do it manually myself because, you know, I just want to understand how the system works and what I can do to make it better or, you know, make it worse or something. Yeah, definitely. I just like to dig into such stuff. Make sure I know how it's made so that it's easier for me to make all this stuff, you know, really smooth and nice. But basically, that's it for this video. There's nothing you can do to make it possible unless you copy everything onto a flat drive or uh, a hard drive and then just turn everything into developer mode. And then you'll be able to install APKs from the APKs from then, get Linux, get all these, you know, things that Chromebook comes with and if you want me to do a video or you want to know how to do all these stuff just join my discord or just drop a comment gd7 how do you do it just come to my discord gme gd7 plays how do you even do this thing they're talking about i'll basically take you through the steps it's not really something stressful that will stress me out but i'll teach a couple of my discord mods so you can also text them and then yeah basically you'll be able to get your own um apks or install other apks you know chrome os is kind of this tight secured system and i'm going to explain all this in a, a different video but yeah for now um that's it um thank you all for watching today's video at this point that i'm making this video we're almost a 500 subscriber so i recommend that you guys join my discord and also subscribe to my channel and drop a like because all these stuff really help all the channel and they help me out a lot they really make my day i'm not gonna lie about that yeah, basically, you can put some suggestions in the comment section, you know, just tell me what you're thinking in the comment section, and yeah, basically, I'm going to leave you guys here, if you have any help, I've already told you what to do, and it's your boy GD7Place, and I'm out, peace out, guys.